Yeah, so the three of us were actually in the movies over summer. Uh, we were all doing kind of tech internships. And, um, you know, after, after working there for the day, we were actually kind of bored. Um, so we decided, well, we should take on a project. And we decided that we all had kind of the skill set to take on an iPhone app project. Um, and really, we kind of started brainstorming, you know, what should we make? Uh, we went around putting I in front of basically everything we saw. And then finally, we, we came up with, well, we'll make I spin the ball. Um, and we, we've actually come up with another app called I Beer Ball, uh, which we're going to be releasing very soon. Uh, so that was the inspiration. I suppose boredom over the summer. Yeah. Great. What, what is the biggest obstacle that you guys faced while working on this project? Hmm. Um, so I want to say, Lucas, do you no, want to no, comment no, on the Apple? I'm curious. Oh, no, that was, that was your question. Go ahead. I was going to say time. Um, I mean, obviously we're Stanford students, so <laughs> when we actually want to get work done for the app, we don't get from the Stanford work done. What motivates you guys to keep you going? Uh, yeah. So we're really motivated by just the product. We, we think it's really cool that we're doing this, and um, also just seeing people, um, maybe just potential users for the product. I mean, the iPhone is pretty prevalent here at Stanford. Um, so everyone with an iPhone and an iPod is a potential user and a potential customer. And we just think it'd be really cool if we could walk around and see people actually using our product. That would be really gratifying. We, we believe in the application. We also think it's fun. Right? I, I, I have fun coding. <laughs> hey, um, can you share with us some of your plans for the future? Like. I don't know, future applications, or would you branch out to something else? Yeah, so uh, like I said, we're, we're making an idea bomb, and that's going to be coming out very soon. We kind of want to stay in the college fun games market. Um, we're kind of using a, an interesting method for playing this game. Um, it's kind of like a text message with a twist, and the twist is you're actually making a beer pong shot. Um, so we kind of, we think that's a, an interesting platform for mobile. That you can actually you can play a game in real time, or you can kind of defer it like a text message, get to it whenever you need to, um, and keep going with your daily life. Um, so we think that we can use this for other apps, um, other games, right. in the future. Yeah. Um, to end off, can you give one piece of advice to aspiring entrepreneurs or people who might want to do a project similar to yours? Absolutely. Our best experience with this uh, you know, endeavor has been having an advisor, actually. Um, so early on, we met with uh, Rohan's friend, who's been through the startup experience before, and he's been an advisor to us ever since. Um, best piece of advice he's given us is, don't be so product-centric. Um, you know, we were so excited about the product, and we said, well, the product's going to be great. Um, you can build an awesome product, but you really have to get people to buy it. Uh, you have to market it a little bit. And so he's, he's been discussing the virality, marketing, pushing for that, uh, and really wrapping the company around our product. Right. How would you suggest going about like looking for an advisor? Um, really family friends. Um, family existing friends. Existing contacts. Existing Stanford contacts, definitely. Alumni. I mean, I think if you're really motivated and you're at Stanford, I mean, you, you have a million contacts you might know about. There's, there's plenty of talented people here. So it's, it's not difficult to find someone that's knowledgeable in the area.